So tonight I thought we would do a look using the new P. Louise Take the Risk or Lose the Chance Back Yourself Stack Em Up palette which I got in a bundle when I got the new Money Talks and I haven't used it yet so I thought I would come on and I use it. So this is what it looks like out of the packaging. And this is it here. So it's a very orangey, sort of yellowy toned, and it has two shimmers. They could definitely do, I feel, with making it equal, like four mattes, four shimmers. Personally, I prefer that, but there you go. So I, I'm going to start with my eyes first in case there is any fall down. I'm going to take a bit of tape. It's been a really wet, crappy day today. So it heals. Right. Do we need to up this a bit? Let's see. Look at Oaks. So let's get started, shall we? What about now? So I am first going into the shade Take the Risk, which is this one here. I'm just gonna pat my brush in. Oh my gosh, look at the colour of that bad boy. It is pigmented and we're just going to lightly stamp the colour on here. Wow, look at that pigment. Oh, I've got the heart in it too, nose. I'm not doing any blending yet, I'm just stamping and pressing on where I would like the shadow. to be but it is pigmented to say the very least so again I'm not blending yet I'm just stamping and pressing on the shadow and then we will give it a blend there's quite a bit of kickback from it Mad. Right, take the other end of the brush and I'm just going to blend this shadow. It is blending beautifully. What if I love never went away? Look at that, blended like a dream. How's your day been? What you've been getting up to? I haven't been up to much. I was doing more of my diamond painting this morning and I had the doctor this afternoon. Then went to Aldi. whoop de do. And now it's like nearly seven o'clock at night. This, let me just get a towel, is literally going everywhere, this colour. Okay. I am now going to take the shade uh, Back Yourself, which we've just used this one here and we're going to use this one now. And I'm going to take a slightly smaller brush. This is a Peaches and Cream PC07. And we're just going to dab that in there, get off the excess. And again, I'm just going to be placing it onto the eye. Not going like ham on anything here. I'm going to take this one into the inner corner as well. The pigment is really good. Oh. This will probably be a long video by the time I put the rest of my makeup on unless I'll maybe go and come back. Loving that. And I'm just going to go back in again 
just wipe this off a bit on my towel with this end of the brush and again I'm just blending lightly this shadow into the middle so that there's no harsh lines or edges at all. Lovely jubbly. Now then, I am going to take this shimmer here, oh, which is called The Time Is Now. Mm -mm -mm. Give up yourself. I'm going to take another little flat brush. This is a Peach and Cream PC20, and I'm going to use the brush first. before I decide if I want to use my finger and I think I am going to use my finger oh, oh look at that if you love your oranges wow oh, it is so pretty see now I would just happily take that shimmer and throw that all over my lid and not bother with all these mattes because your gal is into her Shimmers, look at that, it's absolutely divine. Oh my days, it's so chuff and pretty. Like how stunning is that colour? <gasps> yes, hey Louise, just yes. And it's blending like a dream. Love it. I'm again just going to rub off this a little bit and just lightly tickle those edges there just to give it a bit of shrumming shrumming. I'm going to stop at that at the minute and I am going to use my, if I can find this, my black liquid liner from Sephora that my friend Laura got me. And I'm going to try and do this as neat as I can. I don't know if I want to do a wing or just take it over the lashes like that. We'll do that just now first. I blinked. <laughs> Stop blinking, Julie. This annoys me so much because everybody else, you never see them doing this. This is how it goes peak tone for me. Okay, and then I am going to draw on in one here I just want to make it slightly thicker at this bit now can we get it to match? that's the problem It's not fantastic, but I've done a lot worse, believe me, when it comes to wings. Okay, so we'll let that dry. Always store your liquid liners down the way. Let's just let that dry a bit. What if I love? <laughs> I don't know why that Westlife song is so stuck in my head, but there you go. Right, let's remove this tape. <sighs> Gosh. Oops, oh, whatever. Actually, you know what? I'm pretty happy with that. I mean, I, I do prefer this wing to that one, but... 
on your sale, Julie Doll. What's left on this? I am just going to run under my eye. And it doesn't have to be too neat because I can come back in and sort it once we've done, you know, concealer and everything else. That's lovely, isn't it? I feel like, I feel like the music sounds well over too. I'm going to go into this Mr. and Mrs. Riches, which is like a mustardy yellow here. And I just lightly kind of want to add it to this top part of the look, I feel. It's almost like a sunset eye, kind of, maybe. You're probably thinking, just leave it alone, Julie. Don't ruin it. But sometimes you just got to do it. We're doing that poor nine-year-old girl in Liverpool getting shot. What is the world coming to? Seriously, there's some sick fucks out there. There really, really is. I'm going to leave it like that the now. So we'll move that palette over there and I'm actually going to get my primer now. I'm just using my short moustache stuff for the rest of this. So, oops. For primer, I'm using Charlotte Tilbury Wonder Glow Instant Soft Foto Focus. Come on, there you come. This one's getting low, but I've got to back up. I don't know why I like proper slapped my face there. What if I lose never win for one? What's the weather like where you guys are? Are you still getting warm weather? I believe England's to get another heat wave, haven't they? I can't believe in less than a week, really. We're into September, but Strictly will be starting. That's when you know it's heading to Christmas. Love it. And I am using the Bare Minerals Complexion Rescue Tinted Hydrating Gel Cream with SPF 30 in the shade Vanilla Number 2, which I was kindly given by... Where's my brush? Oh, I need a brush. By my friend Laura, because she said it didn't work out for her. But... It seems to be okay for me, so as I say, when I'm short moustache, I just go through everything and try and rotate things around and make sure I'm getting the use of everything that I have in my com my collection, including anything, you know, that might be new so that I'm not just using the same palette all the time or the same foundation or blusher, etc. So shopping your stash is actually a really good way of getting the use of all of your products. It's really good. It's also good to do it with perfumes and stuff like that as well, or body care or stuff. Like certain things I don't open unless I've finished something else. This eye is annoying me a wee bit in there, in here. Like some type of uh, mascaras. I only ever have one mascara open at a time. It's just, I don't know, it's just something that I've always done. So, like, it, even though a lot of influencers or YouTubers or that, or not even, just people in general will maybe have two or three on the go, I always just open the one at a time, and when I'm fed up of it or it's dried out or whatever the case may be, I get rid. But when it comes to everything else of my makeup. If I wasn't to do my short moustache, I would literally be using like the same bronze, the same blush all the time, even though I have like plenty of them to get through, you know. Just taking my sponge and going over it to make sure that it's normally blended in. Then we're going to take some concealer and the one that I'm using at the minute is this new one by Huda Beauty. I got it brand new off of Depop. And it's in the flavour, it's in the flavour, don't eat it, Coconut Flakes 
a 2.79 this is amazing it is the full filter concealer and I want to get a lot more Huda Beauty stuff this is just amazing concealer I love it so much I'm going to take my shrunk and we're just going to bounce that into the skin under the eyes I mean look at that look oh it's so good and the coverage is amazing it's not too heavy and I mean this is my last year of my 30s look at that look at the difference compared to obviously I haven't blended it in yet just love it I absolutely love it and I would definitely purchase this again Funnily enough, the girl that I bought it from, it, when it arrived, it came from ASOS and I was like, what is this? And she was saying what she does is she buys the stuff from ASOS, but she just sells it that bit cheaper. Like, she'll pay full price for them and then she sells them on cheaper. So I was like, oh, cool. Because when it said your parcel from ASOS, I'm like, I haven't ordered anything from ASOS. Then the trusty e.l.f. under eye loose powder. This stuff is so good. Where are all my little brushes and things? I'm just going to put some onto this side of my sponge. And we're going to just set under those eyes. Again, this under eye powder. Again, you can see it. I know it's bright on here, but you can tell the difference. So if you're looking for an under eye powder but you don't want to like get a massive big tub this stuff is so good so that is that done okay next up i'm going to do a bit of contour let me just shake this this is the dupe for the charlotte tilbury one um it is revolution eye bright illuminating it's basically a concealer and it's in the shade deep caramel but I don't think I've done the dupes for this yet or I might have but it's a dupe for the Charlotte Tilbury one except the price is different on things I just put a wee bit on at a time in case it dries too quickly and you've got to make sure you shake this because I don't know if you can see there see how it looks like it's just sort of oiled up but it does say on it to do that and I'm just using a Real Techniques contour brush uh, yeah I don't think I, I've done the dupes on the original uh, gingerbread girl channel that I can't access but I can do the dupe again on here that's the problem see with having already done some of the videos I'm like oh, don't do would anybody want to see them but I think it was the um Shirley 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 Charlotte Tilbury flawless filter and the collection one Dupe video that I've either got out or coming out. This is actually really quite nice. And because it, this is actually a concealer, it blends in really well. I love, don't get me wrong, I love the Charlotte Tilbury one. A lot. But it is expensive. So if you were looking for one, and plus the Charlotte Tilbury one is always sold out because it is so popular. To be fair though, I really struggled to find this colour as well because a lot of people have been going on about it being a dupe of it. I also think it's flying off the shelves. Like, it took me three super drugs to find this colour. And then when I did see it, that's why I was like, right... I am getting this because obviously it's super duper popular. I also think, I don't know if it's just me, you can let me know. I think for some reason, 
this seems to actually make a bit more of a difference sculpting my face than the Charlotte Tilbury one does. Where's the lid for it? Like, I, I see it here more in my nose that it sculpted my nose in that. Maybe the Charlotte Tilbury one is actually a wee bit too light for me or something. And if you feel like with everything that you've gone too far, just take your either your sponge or you can take your foundation brush and just go over it. Okay, so now we're moving on to yeah, I dropped it. Bronzer. I'm loving this Kiko bronzer that I got. This is the Radiant Touch one in 101. Absolutely adore this. And I love applying it with just a big brush. And as I always say, tap it off on your hand. And just do that three motion. I like to take it higher up my cheek just so that oh but it's just so stunning it is like actually stunning I can't honestly tell you how obsessed I am with that bronzer like it is beyond stunning okay then now for blush I'm going to use this one today you all need to grab this. This is the Barry M Baked Marble Blusher in Heat Wave Sunray. It is stunning. And also, it can double up as a highlighter because it's got a wee bit of a shine to it. And I absolutely love that. Look at it. Look. None. Oh my God. Take all my money. Thank you very much, Barry M. It is just the most beautiful product. I'm actually obsessed with it. I love it. And I'm then going to take my highlighter. I'm going to use my Doll Beauty palette because they are the best. Like, honestly, are the best. And I'm going to go into a Lake Diamond, I think, to do. Shine bright like a diamond. Take a wee bit there as well. I normally don't bother doing the brow bone. I know everybody else does, but I kind of not bother. I might take a wee bit about my finger though and just add it into my inner corner. Oh, I'm like a flipping disco ball, but I love it. Oh my god, you could see me from Mars. And I'll, I'm living for it. What's that song? Feeling myself, we'll be in the club. Okay, let's get some mascara on. Telescopic by Laurie Earl. God damn it, I'm feeling myself. In the mirror, in the mirror, look at me. <gasps> I just got mascara caught in my hair. What is going on, people? Right. No danger, it's all good. I mean, if it's hitting it's me on first, but it's going. I can't put it on now because it will make this run. Run like the wind. Run like the wind. I'm going to use a little bit of this. This is the Nude Finish Illuminating Powder in Nude uh, by Bobby Brown. And we're just going to lightly. 
a bit of over my face. I went a bit too heavy handed with the old highlighter. And then for lips, I am using Charlotte Tilbury Iconic Nude. My lips are so dry. And I am using the MAC lipstick in the shade Daddy's Girl. This is a Love Me lipstick. They smell so good. Beautiful! And that's made on because I can't put my scent spray on or it will go metal. So what do you think? This is my look using this palette by P. Louise which is called Back Yourself. This is it here. We used these two mattes, this matte here and this shimmer. And I am pretty stoked with how it turned out. What do you guys think? If you enjoyed this video please hit the like button, subscribe to my channel, click the bell to be notified of when I next upload and I will see you next time. Bye!